Hey guys, it's Insane the Rain here. Today it's a Blender Minecraft application tutorial. Did I just say Minecraft? I think I did. And today we're going to be making an animated bow using shape keys, which I showed you in a cons this corresponding tutorial. Blah. So, to get the bow mesh and what we need, I'll put this link in the description. And click this, you'll wind up here. I'm, I've sent you this link before, it's in my first tutorial and download the arrow and bone right here I think that's what it is yeah okay so I'll cut back to blender and we'll begin animating alright so we're in our default scene in blender we'll delete this key delete of course front view now shift F1 to append navigate to the place where you put your bow and arrow file put mine here Go to Object, Import Bow. All right, so we have this bow, and since it's turned, we'll hit R, Y on the Y axis, negative 45 to bring it upright. This will make it easiest to animate. Now we're going to add shape keys. So we'll drag this panel out, add a shape key, name this Loose. Add another one, name this one top. And what we'll do is first off, I'm going to select change to face select, select all these faces. So and we make sure you're in wireframe mode so you can select through other objects. Then go to vertex groups, hit plus, and add name line string. This will be the string for the bow that we animate. So, in tot, make sure this is selected, tab, and now, when we did the vertex group, you want to hit vertex groups, select, it'll select those vertices, control I to select everything else, and hit H to hide. Now, we're going to, okay, yeah, I remember. We're going to go into wireframe mode, use C to select, make sure not those ones. These four vertices are selected because those will be the point of the bow that's the far furthest back from the um from the main bow, which is about here. So now we hit O to enable proportional editing, which you'll it'll make more sense in a minute. Change proportional editing fall off to sphere. Hit G, X, and make sure that the circle, which you can change the size of by using your mouse wheel, is not touching these vertices up here, because these those need to remain in the one place. So again, we select these, not these, G, X, about, maybe scale that down a little bit, about that much, and that's our drawn back bow, and now, if we go to shape keys here and hit taut, you'll see that it extends a bit. Now, to make this more realistic, the top of the bow should shrink down a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit go back to edit mode with tab, hold H, go here, wireframe mode, select these, make sure you're in face select all these faces in the exact same on the bottom side that's about right hit S Z and you might want to turn proportional editing off actually let's keep it on I haven't tried it with it on works a little bit better I guess alright so that's taut and when we have this It'll make the top of the bow shrink, and the string extend. And that's our animated bow. Now, as I showed you in the other tutorial, you can use keyframes with that, which is what we're going to do. So, before we do that, we need something for the bow to launch. So let's import an arrow. Shift F1. It should be in the same directory where your bow and arrow download is located. Hit arrow. Link append from library. Now, this arrow is a bit big for our bow, so I rotated it 180 degrees on the z-axis. We'll scale it down just a little bit, grab it, 
with the x-axis, so it's next to the bow. Z for wireframe mode, just to make sure. And it's a bit short, so let's scale it on the x-axis. It's a bit too big. And I accidentally deleted it. That's pretty good. So, we'll set the keyframe for the shape key and the bow at frame 1. So we'll hit I for keyframe, location, rotation, scale, location, rotation, well, insert keyframe. We'll have it draw back to frame 20. And, um, if you can hear my mom back there, she's on the phone. Not the best time to record, but oh well. We'll drag this up, hit insert keyframe, drag this back so it's matching, insert keyframe, then we'll have it release at frame, let's say 25, let's play that and see how it looks. That's a quick snap release, I think that'll work, 25, like this, have the bow, the arrow, at this point, at frame 25, and now you can just at frame like 60 or something, you can send it all the way over here or something like that. It's all about experimentation, so if we hit Alt-A to play, it shot the arrow. In texture view, we're leading this lamp. You can see it does what it would in Minecraft. You could drag this back a little more by editing the shape key, but I think for this purpose, it works pretty well. Alright, so that's your tutorial on making an animated bow with a shape piece. So this has been Insane in the Rain. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys all soon. Bye.